Now to a night on your side special report on former Greenville Fire Rescue employees speaking out against the department. The department is currently undergoing a $30,000 assessment. WNCT's Brandon Truitt brought us that report when it broke last month. Brandon, you received several messages after that story aired. Ken and Shayla, they are messages from former employees of the department who say they each walked away from their jobs. I sat down with four of the people who reached out wanting to share their experiences. Now, each of them claimed to have witnessed multiple instances where, form, where employees were worked and often under-resourced for calls. It's something they claim is creating an increasing amount of turnover within the department. If the city knew how much money they were losing on letting personnel just walk out the door, with, with no concern, it, it's uh, very disheartening. Money they're losing is in, invested in that employees is that what we're talking? I, I would estimate just throwing it out there by the time you, you train somebody and all the specialty things throughout your career, it's probably in the hundreds if not millions of dollars that are just being uh, wasted and other departments are, are benefiting from. Each of the men go on to make other allegations against Greenville Fire Rescue. In the full report, you'll hear how the city is responding to these allegations and what other first responders want to see as a result of this assessment. That's tonight on your news at 11. Brandon Truitt, not on your side.